Like many small churches, Trinity AME Zion Church in Sheridan has seen its congregation and its funding shrink over the years. Recently, though, things have been looking up. More people have been attending and the church has again become a cornerstone in the community. But as Royce Jones reports, the church is also having some struggles and needs the community's help. From housing community programs to more than doubling its population over the past year, there's always something new happening here at the Trinity AME Zion Church in Sheridan. But the building, however, is very old and is in desperate need of repair. Joshua Walker, a traveling pastor, took his assignment at Trinity AME Zion Church about a year ago. So when I arrived, I saw a church with potential. And that's why we have the slogan, uh, winning the future one family at a time. But potential was not the only thing this church had. It also had $80,000 in debt, which has just been paid off. It still has a leaky roof, water damage on the ceiling, no HVAC system, and cracks in the windows, which also happen to be rotting away. The heat is seeping out uh, through the windows, and so uh, most of our con congregation come, and they, they come in coats. Our kids, they're bundled up. We're paying $5,000, $4,000, you know, bills and utilities. The heat also pours through the series of bullet holes in the stained glass windows, which can be seen in the vestibule, the chapel, and the pastor's office. My chair is right here, mm -hmm. and so <laughs> prayer, prayer covered. The building was built in the 30s, and a few upgrades have been made since. The congregation was gifted the building in 2008 because the previous one folded. We were gifted the church for a dollar, Wow! but it was an expensive dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Administrator Deborah Valentine Gray has crunched the numbers for the repairs, and they're not cheap. Pretty close to $300,000 because of the systems and the craftsmanship that's required. Starting with the windows, the church is now launching a campaign online to help pay for the restoration, which will include fortifying them with bulletproof glass. There will also be plaques on the windows with the names of those who donated. The church hopes to have some of these fixes done before next winter to avoid a disaster like they already had this past winter in their annex building where the pipes burst, causing flooding. And for more information about how you can get involved with this church restoration, just go to KDKA.com. In Sheridan, I'm Royce Jones. KDKA News.